Hello, very good dear subscribers, and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we have the special monthly video reviewing my portfolio starting from zero euros with you. Get ready to discover my new October investment. As always, first I would like to analyze a little about the evolution of the YouTube channel and how I see it in a couple of months. As you can see the evolution during this last month has not been very good. However, this last week we have somewhat recovered the number of visits and hours viewed for the month of August. Unfortunately, I have fallen far short of meeting my goal of having 500 subscribers at the beginning of October. Even so I will not be discouraged and will continue trying to upload content of the best quality possible. For this month the goal will once again be to reach 500 subscribers before the beginning of November. The evolution of the investment made in September has not been good since it has fallen by around 6.2%. Remember that this is a very long-term investment, and that the objective is not to obtain a high return in the short term, so this large drop does not worry me too much since I fully trust my estimates of the intrinsic value of Texas Roadhouse. The good news is that during this month Texas Roadhouse has distributed a gross dividend of 55 cents per share which after taxes and the euro-to-dollar exchange rate on September 25th has given us 44 cents. Moving on, I currently have 23 stocks from different sectors on my watch list, but for today's video we will only focus on those that are below my estimate of their intrinsic value. Because remember, you always have to buy low and sell high, and not the other way around. As simple as it may seem, most investors lose their money by not following this advice and selling their shares when the price has already fallen in panic and buying them when everyone is talking about them and the price is overbought. Additionally, we will not consider companies in the consumer discretionary sector to diversify our portfolio and reduce risk. And also, like the previous month, we will wait to make the investment in REITs for a couple of months until the evolution of interest rates is downward. So we will go on to analyze in-depth companies such as Texas Instruments, Kroger, Comcast, and Cisco Systems, since they are four companies that have an upcoming ex-dividend and some of them will allow us to receive dividends this month again. In order to better evaluate each section that we are analyzing, I have decided to create a Google Sheets table in which we will place the score obtained by each company from 1 to 100. Let's start by checking the dividend safety. All four companies show great results, although Kroger's is slightly lower. Continuing with the dividend growth of recent years, the panorama changes quite a bit since Kroger has had a growth of 12%, Comcast is somewhat lower at around 7%, and unfortunately Cisco's barely reaches 2.6%. Finally we see how the four companies have a very similar dividend yield, around 3%. Regarding the evolution of income, profits and free cash flow, the best companies are once again Kroger and Comcast, as we can see in the following picture. Gradually both companies are moving away from the other two companies in terms of score. The price-slash-earnings ratio is a good indicator to check whether a company is undervalued or overvalued, in addition to our fair value analysis. All four companies are below the five-year average, indicating an undervaluation of their respective prices. Kroger is almost 20% below the average P ratio of the last five years, Comcast is 10% below and finally Texas Instruments and Cisco are 7% below. Impressive right? Moving on to yield on cost, here Texas Instruments is the clear winner with over 30% compound annual growth rate over the last 10 years, while the other three companies barely managed to reach between 7% and 16%. Finally, we will see the total return that each stock has offered over the last five years. To obtain a score of 100 in this section, 10% per year will be taken into account. Texas Instruments and Kroger have managed to exceed the 60% that marks that 10% annual profitability as you see in the graph. However, Comcast and Cisco have achieved a total profitability during the last five years of less than 60%. Once we have all the values of the scores obtained, what I will do is multiply the average of all the sections by the score obtained in terms of dividend safety in order to more efficiently adjust the results to its security. Well, as you can see, Comcast is the one that has obtained the highest score, due to Kroger's low safety coefficient. So Comcast will be our October pick, although we'll also consider Kroger next month, 
along with other potential companies. Then we enter the scalable broker and carry out the operation, looking for the Comcast ticker. Remember that I will always try to make a purchase of around 100 euros so that the commission is less than 1%. By introducing two shares we would make an investment of only 85 euros and 16 cents. So in this case we will buy three at a price of 42 euros and 58 cents each, adding the commission of 99 cents. The investment amounts to 128 euros and 73 cents. Well, we go on to write down the purchase made in our Google spreadsheet. We place the ticker in the first column three shares and we divide the 128 euros and 73 cents between the three shares and then we multiply it by the euro slash dollar exchange rate. We added it in the communication services sector and as you can see, this investment will allow us to reinvest 0.08 shares annually via dividends. As we are already in the month of October, I will move on to the monthly value sheet and in the month of October 2023 we will write the 228 euros and 62 cents that our investments are currently worth in the market. This has been all for today dear investors, a pleasure as always to receive your great support. Remember that these videos are not investment recommendations and it is necessary for each of you to do your own analysis and consult a financial expert if necessary. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and activate the bell so you don't miss any of my interesting videos. Thank you for watching the video, and tell me through the comments what you think my portfolio will look like next month. Until next time.